On Larry King Now, there's no one like him, Eric Andre. I set out to make the worst talk show of all time. That's what I wanted to do. And you succeeded. And I succeeded. So when you get a, you know Kimmel's coming, what do you plan? Kimmel, we had a PA under his seat tickling his taint. So if you had called me yeah. to be a guest. You'd be a I, great guest. I would be. Well, you did research, so you wouldn't be as great. But when someone's tickling your taint, you know, it's a rush. Existence is meaningless. Or or are we all connected? Or are we here? Or are we really here? Are we, are we, is this a dream that we're going to wake up from? Is this all a dream? I don't know. I don't know the answers. Plus, I'm trying to be serious <laughs> when I got a maniac here, OK? It's not easy. Larry, you're coming down on me, and I want to. I'm not coming down on I you. I want to spread my wings and I'm fly. I'm curious. You just, you, you oh, well, I'm bi-curious, and I'm horny. All next on Larry King Now. My guest is the host of the absurd Eric Andre Show. Eric also stars on the FXX series Man Seeking Woman, going into its third season. You might also know him from Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23 and Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping. Season four of the Eric Andre Show premieres August 5th on Adult Swim. It's been referred to, Eric, as a Molotov cocktail of a talk show, chaotic blend of whatever strange, violent, and disruptive sketches Adult Swim will let you produce. Why do you... What does that mean? Why do you do this? Why do you... Uh make guests want guests to walk off why do you have I don't want them to rodents walk off. jump out of you I, I i i set out to make the worst talk show of all time that's what i wanted to do and you succeeded and i succeeded for what purpose did you do this i came up with the idea for the show when i was working in new york city i was temping i was like 22 23 years old and i was doing stand-up comedy at night and i had a temp job and i was miserable and i just thought how funny would it be if there was a talk show where the talk show host, that was his temp job, and he brought like apathy and indifference to a talk show host position. Were so you a fan of talk shows? I was a fan of like anti-talk show talk shows. Anti like, like Martin Short does Jiminy Glick. <laughs> he and, did, uh, I did an hour with him. Yeah, yeah, a huge Jiminy Glick fan and Tom Green show and stuff like that. Tom so, Green's good too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you've known for making your guests uncomfortable, but yet they come. Jack Black, Stacey Dash, they Kelly come. Osbourne. They're fools, Other guests Larry. For this They're season. fools. Well, Haley Joel Osmond is coming, T.I. Howie, Howie Mandel is coming, yes. Julian Michaels, Chris Rock. Why do they come? I don't know. <laughs> they, they don't Maybe do their Kimmel's research. Kimmel's coming, right? Kimmel's coming, yeah. So when you get a, you know Kimmel's coming, what do you plan? Kimmel, we had a PA under his seat tickling his taint. The entire, the entire interview. The taint is the perineum. Are any it is the root chakra. The guests know they're going to have this. now enlightened. No, no, the guests aren't in on the pranks. Well, but they, once you've established a, a fame of some sort, they're going to know they're going to be pranked. You know what? I, people don't do their research, and we kind of purposely uh, book guests that we assume have never seen the show. So if you had called me yeah. to be a guest. You'd be a I, great guest. I would be. Well, you did research, so you wouldn't be as great. But when someone's tickling your taint, you know, it's a rush either yeah. way. <laughs> Whether you know the show or not, you're going to have a reaction. But how, when you very book the guest, what do you tell them about the show? You we tell them, them, over the seasons, we tell them less and less and less. And this season, I didn't tell the guest anything. They were like meeting me on camera for the first time. What does the producer tell the guest? They're like, hey, it's a wacky talk show. Just be yourself. You'll have a lot of fun. Yeah. And then it's... Where do you do it? Uh, in North Hollywood. Well, we do the street stuff. So we do like hitting camera street pranks. We do that in New York, in Manhattan, and in Brooklyn. And uh, then we do the... We interview the guests. With a studio audience? No, we don't do a studio audience. We do a fake studio audience. That's what I mean, I've heard sound. Yeah, because we have, we like canned laughter. I think that's better. You got to come on the show. How many? I'll come on. How I'm, many? Na I'm nude a lot. There's a lot of male nudity. I won't do that. You won't do full frontal on no. my show? Well, I'm insulted. How many? Uh, I think that's disrespectful. How many people have walked off? We've only had two walk-offs. Um, Who walked off? We had Lauren Conrad walk off. And we had um, T.I. 
walk off. And what were you doing at the time? T.I., there was a lot of male nudity in his uh, interview. Uh, Lauren Conrad, I vomited on the desk. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Why? Just really low brow. You had to vomit in your mouth? Yeah. What was it you spit out? Well, you know, she was talking to my co-host, Hannibal, and uh, as she was talking to him, I had a little cup of oatmeal. So I put it in my mouth, and I came back up, and then when she turned back at me, I went, Bleh! And it's really hot in our she, studio. She got disgusted. She got disgusted. Um, now, what is the point of that, Eric? What is the point of anything? What is the, what is the point? What is what the, is, what's it all about? What is it all about? What does it mean? What does it mean? Yeah, exactly. So that should be the Existence is meaningless. Or, or are we all connected? Or are we here? Or are we really here? We, are we, is this a dream that we're going to wake up from? Is this all a dream? I don't know. I don't know the answers, and that's this, what... Uh, this planet that we're spinning on. Th what is it? Where it's is just it? a little marble in the middle of that's a solar right. system that's on the outskirts of the Donald Milky Trump? Way. Who is, Who is Donald Trump? Does he exist? Does he really yeah. exist? I get where you're going. Is he Barbara Bush with a mask on? Could be. Could be. She always wanted it. She is gorgeous. How I would I... make love to Barbara Bush. Let's do it on the show. Would... Get Bush in here now. Get Barbara in here. You talk to him, and then you realize that he's also a sociopath. Did he go to the Republican convention with you? No, I went by myself. What pranks did you pull at the convention? Uh, I dressed like a uh, little schoolgirl, and I went on the convention floor with my writing partner, Dan Curry, and we danced around, um, and we sang a song about freedom. There are these girls called the Freedom Girls, and they sang a pro-Trump song, so we dressed up like the Freedom Girls. and. Um, we had 10 of Cleveland's finest escort us out, along with Secret you Service. You were escorted out? We were escorted out by the police, yeah. We were kicked out of the convention. I've been to hundreds of conventions. Or hundreds. Prove it. I'm, prove it? Yeah. Prove I can't it. tell when you're lying to me or when you're telling the truth. I've been to many conventions. Oh, yeah? yeah. I don't think so. I don't have to prove it to you. Well, yeah, I think you do. What is this, a court? Yeah. What convention? Name one convention. 1960 Democratic Convention. Los President Angeles. Taft. He's a big brother. I can tell you're a historian. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the worst interview you ever had? Uh, the actor Robert Mitchum. He gave me a. Was rough he all time. whacked out on goofballs? No, he might have been. What was the worst interview you ever had? I love all, everyone I ever interviewed. Even the lady who walked off. Even the lady that walked out, I have immense. What do you think of Donald Trump? I think he is um, a like the bad guy from like a Batman movie. But in real life. In real and life. And I think he's fantastic. He's very entertaining. In other words, he's an enemy of Metropolis. He strikes me like that. I think he is um, a little narcissistic. I think he's a, a, a spoiled rich kid that grew up. And I think, I think this is what happened. I don't know if you ever saw the movie Putney Swope, Robert Downey Sr.'s movie. He, I think he ran for president on a goof not thinking he would get the nomination, and now he's nominated and he's in over his head. With Got his the tiger mind. by the tail. Got the tiger by the tail. What I don't know what that means. But it's, 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 yeah, he's swinging a tiger around. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, I think he has sex with the tiger. <laughs> I would have sex with a tiger. Gun to my head, I would have sex with a tiger. And what if the tiger got pregnant? What would you expect to be the result? I would raise that child as my own. <laughs> That's very noble of you. Yeah. What do you think of Hillary Clinton? I thought you were going to say Tiger Woods. What do you think of Hillary Clinton? Um, I think that she has blood on her hands, too. Um, but um, out of the two of them, yes, I Eric. think she has more on her resume than Mr. Trump. Um, but... Uh, all politicians are bad, you, right? They're all evil. What did you right? think of Cleveland and the Republicans? What did you make of the Republican convention? It seemed tense. It's a very tense time. Angry. Country. It seems, yeah, angry and tense, and they didn't appreciate. I crashed an Alex Jones rally, and um, I don't know if you know Alex Jones. He's, um, he's a right-wing conspiracy theorist. He thinks that... Um, 
the U.S. government put the bombs in the Twin Towers, and there's, oh. yeah, he's um, he's a, he's a hot-blooded guy. So, so I crashed crash? a rally of his, and I asked him to have sex with my wife, and I gave him my hotel key, and I asked him why does my pee pee come out yellow, and this was on stage during a huge rally. It was <laughs> Bikers for Trump, and. Um, all these bikers, all these Hells Angel guys wanted to kill me. It seemed very tense. And I was like, guys, I'm not even having a political discussion. I'm asking why my pee-pee comes out yellow, like I'm, a three-year-old. And they were still, they still wanted my blood. There Our guest is Eric Andre. He'll reveal his secret talent after the break. I'm not sure I really want to know it. <laughs> this broadcast today is partially sponsored by the Mental Health Association of America. And one of their subjects is our guest, He's Eric Andre. Now, in the 60s, were a lot of your guests all whacked out on acid? No, they were normal. They right? were they normal? Just, you just... interviewed Sly and the Family Stone? Because they were out to lunch. Okay. Anyway, you <laughs> went to Berkeley College of Music? <laughs> Larry, you went what? to the Berkeley College of Music? <laughs> you? That's a very distinctive I'm school. I'm trying to have a... I'm, I'm trying to have a... I'm trying to be serious <laughs> when I got a maniac here, okay? It's not easy. Larry, you're coming down on me, and I want to... I'm not coming down on I you. I want to spread my wings and I'm fly. I'm curious. You just... You, you oh, well, I'm bi-curious, and I'm horny. And yes, I went to Berkeley College of Music. Who does your hair? Um, me, myself, and I. Dude, why do you do your hair like that? For what reason? I just don't brush it, and this is what happens naturally. And why, do, why, why don't you brush it? Uh, it's too time-consuming. Okay, what did you major in at the Berkeley <laughs> You can't what wait to get this what interview instrument, over What with. instrument did you play? I played upright bass. And did you do it professionally? I did not. I, Why did you go to the Berkeley School of Music? Because when I was 18, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. But you had a natural affinity for music. I, yeah, I was doing music my whole childhood. So Why didn't you continue it into adulthood and have a musical life and a Be, career? Uh, uh, because the music biz is, is dysfunctional. And I felt like if you get good at music, it doesn't really mean anything because, like, Justin Bieber sells records, and I knew, like, incredibly talented musicians. What made you switch to comedy? I, uh, the music business was falling apart as soon as I got into college. You said that you're terrified. I can't wait to get this interview over. You're damn right. (laughs) (laughs) You said, well, because, yeah. Why? Why don't you like me? I need you to like me. I like you. You're I love you. You're a legend. I need you to you like something. me. I need the validation well, of strangers. What I want is the guest to be so good that the audience stays watching. Yeah. And definitely they're staying watching. The reason is they don't know what's going to happen next. Yes. That's the way you do your show. Yes. That you, you leave them... I leave them on their... Edge of the seat. I leave their nipples pert. One nipple. One nipple. It's a, that's called a turkey. Which, you said you're terrified when you perform. You are? Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm a nervous guy. Some social media questions. At Yaya Mamie <laughs> on tweets. Do you believe... It's like you're filling out a medical form. Great. You're a nervous guy? Great. You went to Berkeley College of Music? Yeah, Great. Right. And then you went to did comedy? Great. All right. Somebody, we're done. Thank you so much. Somebody's got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you believe in... I the, have to be the, your least favorite guest. You do you have. believe... Uh, you're getting there. Really? You believe, no, I love you. Do you believe in legalizing ranch? I do. Do you know what that means? No. What is ranch? I'm in the hot seat right now, Larry. What is ranch? Ranch is a sauce that you put on a salad. Okay, it's also... I didn't know that. Well, Roy Rogers had a ranch, and Gene Autry, and yeah. you wouldn't know them. Yeah, no, I love Gene Autry. I'm a huge Gene Autry fan. If there's one thing people say about me, it's... I'm sorry, I'm interrupting you. What? <laughs> I knew Gene Autry, and he... I knew Gene Autry personally. He was uh, my godfather. Uh, he was? Mm-hmm. Home, home on the range. Home, home on the range, Where the baby. the deer and the antelope. Antelope range. How would you use, at Wexler Rules S, how would you use bird up? Can you ask these faster? How would you use bird up in a sentence? Bird up. Okay. You got sh- quick questions? I got quick answers, who my did, brother. Sam Ionuzzi asked, who did 311? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You sound insane right now. At Forever 420 asked, <laughs> why did my dad leave me? <laughs> they want to know. This guy's asking why his dad left him. Are you some sort of psychic? <laughs> yes. Um, uh, what do they call it? Clairvoyant? Uh, uh, Eric, can you show feet? Can I show my feet? Do you have a foot fetish? 
No. You're a freak. What's the farthest you ever got with a girl? The farthest I ever got, well. 69. I have children, baby. Oh, really? Do you have children? children? Do you have children? That I, yeah, no. Are you married? <laughs> no, I've never even hugged a girl. I'm a virgin. I don't doubt that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a little game now, I just throw, <laughs> I just throw questions at you, Eric, and you try to answer. Larry Legend in the you, house. Do you have a secret talent? We should do this every week. Do you? Ha I should go on your show. You should come on my show. I would love nothing more. And I'll bring oatmeal. Do you have a, <laughs> do you have a I feel like I lost you at the oatmeal. Do you have a secret talent? Mm, yes. What is that? Uh, I can 69 with Larry King anytime I want to. No, you can't. <laughs> Comedian you most admire? Larry King. <laughs> Guilty pleasure? Larry King. Who out there is weirder than you? The Larry line. King, Who's baby. Weird? Who do you know anyone weirder than you? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Who are you going to vote for? Mr. Johnson. LBJ? No. He's dead. Governor Johnson, the candidate on the Libertarian ticket. It's my protest vote. Really? Only kidding. Assalamu alaikum, my brother. Preach. For, I never announced who I'm voting for. Ever in my whole career did I ever Really? Because you don't want to... Uh, I don't want to... You don't want to divide your audience. I, I have to be objective. Yeah. Okay. No, you don't. What do you think of this election? I think it's sassy. Sassy. Yeah. What makes you angry? Larry King. <laughs> I love when you book the intellectual. You know? Keep this up. Keep booking. Well, what these, do you want me to say? Keep um, booking these professors. To I mean, that's my knowledge. Do you want me to get on my high horse and be like, yes, I, I'm glad you asked. What is a high horse? What is Catch a Tiger by the Tail or whatever the hell okay. I said before? Who would you trade places with for a day? Larry King. No. Uh. Uh, uh, Oprah. No. Yes. Oprah. I don't know. Whatever you want me to say. You'd be a woman. I would. Would you like, you want me to be a guest on your show? <laughs> I do. I thought we already established that. What's the best? I'm trying to have a connection with you and you're just glued to the What's the cards. best piece of advice you ever got? Um, gosh, I don't know. Uh, don't listen to anybody. What does your father do? <laughs> My dad's a psychiatrist. <laughs> oh boy, is that the truth? Yeah, that is the truth. Oh boy. <laughs> so he works at home. You want some? <laughs> you want some Zoloft? I can hook you up, my man. He is a psychiatrist. My dad's a psychiatrist. Are you a patient? Well, Butrin, Zoloft. I got it. Are Paxil. You, are you a patient? Um, no, but I would snort Propecia. If well, you force me to do where it. Where does your father practice? Boca Raton, Florida, where I'm from. You know Boca Raton? I know it well. Lived in Miami 20 years. Well, what the hell? Why don't you holler at me? We'll go out. When I lived in Miami, Jewish people couldn't live in Boca Raton. Are you a Jew? I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. You're... My mom's a Jew. I'm black and Jewish. You didn't do enough wikipedia -ing. My mom's a Jew. I'm an Ashkenazi Jew on my mom's side, and my dad is a black. He's a Haitian man. My dad's a black psychiatrist, and my mom is from the Upper West Side of New York. <laughs> my, what a marriage. Yeah, well, I am. brothers or sisters? I got an older sister. What does she do? She works for the government in uh, health, health services. Are you me. proud of her? Yeah, of course. Uh, is your family proud of you? Absolutely not. I went to Israel, and they wouldn't let me in. I went on birthright. <laughs> if you don't believe I'm Jew, I can show you I'm circumcised. That doesn't mean you're a Jew. Every kid is circumcised. Well, I did it myself, freehand. The moil wouldn't let me in. Did it hurt? It was a rush. It was a rush. You had a high from this. I was on, I was, I just did it in the bathroom. Eric, where do you ago. see your future? What do you want? Let's pray. Baruch Atad and Ayelohenu, Melakalom, Herzi, the Lekomenords. Where do you want to go with this talent? Well, I mean, let's say... 
Give me you jail. at age 40. What are you doing? 40, I, want, I always dreamed about killing myself on stage because you can only do that once and no one's ever really done it. And wouldn't it be an amazing Andy show? Andy Kaufman thought about it. Yeah, wouldn't it be crazy to see somebody live and they, their head exploded on the stage? Not uh, in a depressive way, in like an exciting way. You know, how would you lead up to it? Um, uh, you know, a lot of Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Craigslist. Come in, watch this. So you'll get a huge audience. Huge audience. Two, would you, three. Would you, would you book a hall? I'd book a hall, I'd book a corridor, whatever. Whatever it takes. What method would you use to kill yourself? Um, I think I would skydive without a parachute into the building uh, onto a bed of nails. That would was, be a show. In other words, the ground wouldn't be good enough. The ground would Better be Better nails would add to it. Better nails. It'd be like goddamn Cirque du Soleil. Do you think yeah. you would have fear on your way down? I think, uh, I think I would have a lot of fear and excitement. Eric, I will attend. How many, how many kids you got? Five. Wow. Is it scary, fatherhood? The three are grown and two are two a teenager. But when you first became a dad, were you sure. nervous? You had to be nervous. Are you a father yet? I want to. I hate condoms. It's the best thing in the world. Really? The best. So I should just be squirting. Dear like father, DNA you'll never be unhappy with a kid. Larry. Eric, great. I'll be on your show, Eric. I love you. I want to thank my guest, Eric Andre. The Eric Andre Show premieres August 5th on Adult Swim. And look out for the third season of Man Seeking Woman on FXX. As always, you can find me on Twitter at Kings Things. And I'll see you next time. And I'll be on Eric's show. Who are you talking to? The audience.